What's up YouTube? MS1914 here bringing you another gun video. Today we're looking at the Sega 12. And this one here was sent to us by my good friend Sam. And I will leave, leave a link to his channel in the description. If you'd go over and check his channel out, I'd really appreciate it. And we really appreciate Sam for sending us this and letting us check it out, test it. Let's talk a little bit about it. It is 12 gauge and it has been customized by him he's done a lot of work to this uh, let's talk a little bit about what he's done it has the reliability kit which is the six position uh, gas plug and basically allows you you can shoot any kind of ammo you want out of this pretty much uh, this one has the tapco trigger assembly the ace folding stock as you can see and it works real nice. I really like the stock on it. And it has a Hogue Grip Carolina Billet Trigger Guard. And it has JTE Main str uh, Spring. And also this here, he's put this walnut fore end on it, which is real nice. And it is by Ironwood Design. And guys, this gun is really, really fun. We took it out, shot quite a few rounds. And this here is the 10 round Pro Mag magazine. And this one here is the 20 round drum. And I think this is, yeah, this is Pro Mag too. And both of these magazines function flawlessly in this gun. It shoots great. I did have to adjust the gas tube. I was shooting uh, bird loads like number eight shot, low brass, cheap stuff. And I adjusted the adjustment all the way to six and it functioned just fine. Now one thing I will talk about, if you're shooting um, high powered shells, you definitely don't want to open that gas tube all the way up because from what I understand, it'll just wreak havoc on the internals. Uh, it's just allowing too much gas to go through so you want to experiment with it and and you know start off low and kind of work your way up and, and see what functions and what doesn't but you don't want to open it all the way up and use some big high-powered shell in it that's definitely a no-no but other than that guys it's basically it's a, you know it's an AK design you got your safety here and I mean if you look at it like this it looks just like an AK 47 Basically, if you just took the mags away and, and somebody seen it, they'd be like, oh, you know, it's just another AK. But it's actually a 12-gauge shotgun, and it's super fun, guys. I had a lot of fun making the video, and you can see on there I destroyed a TV, which was fun. The recoil on it um, is not too bad. It's kind of a heavy gun. I'm not sure the weight of it, but you know, it's nothing crazy, but it's, it's not going to kill you um, to shoot it over and over. I'm sure if you did, you know, all day long, you probably get pretty sore shoulder, but it's, you know, it's nothing like shooting the old featherweight uh, single shot 12 gauges or anything like that. Cause those will wear you down pretty quick, but this one, it's got the rubber end on the stock here, and I mean, it's, it's not too bad. I shot it quite a bit, and it didn't bother me one bit. I even shot it a couple times with the stock folded and just holding it. And you really got to hold on to it, you know, to make sure everything functions properly. You don't want to cause a hang up there, but I really like it, guys. It'd be something really nice for home protection. I mean, you could put this 10-rounder. I mean, you could even put this 20-rounder in but it's just it's just neat to have um a shotgun like this i think and it's really cool all the stuff he's done to this one this grip is real nice i'm a fan of hoag grips anyway and i really like the way this one feels and i really think this forend here changes the look of the gun and i like it uh, some of you may not but it just makes it a little different to stand out a little more and kind of adds just a little 
different look to it and I really like it. Now I'm not sure what other kind of magazines there are out there for this. I'm sure there's plenty of different ones and probably uh, a ton of different stuff you can do to these. I've seen them bone stock work just fine with pretty much any kind of ammo that you'd want to run in them. And you know, you don't have to do these upgrades to, to get them to work by, by no means. But this is just something that, that he did and it works great. I really like it. And I mean, it's just cool because you can, it's just like an AK or an AR. I mean, you can pretty much do about anything you want to them and personalize them and make them to where they're different than, you know, everyone else's. But guys, that's about all I have to say about this. I wanted to do this quick little review. I've been under the weather for a few days and haven't had a chance to do anything. Not feeling the best, but wanted to make this video and get it up for you guys so you could watch it and please uh, leave me some comments like hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already like i said i'm going to leave a link to sam's channel in the description go over and check him out tell him i sent you you know check out some of the stuff he's got a lot of a lot of four-wheeler videos on there and beer reviews and things like that and we really appreciate him sending us this guys as always thank you for watching God bless you. God bless America. I love you guys. Stay safe and stay armed. Also, before I go, before I forget, I'm going to leave a link to my official website in the description. And I'm trying to put that in all my other videos. So you guys go over and check that out. And I'll also leave links to my Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and all that stuff. Snapchat. Add me on all there, guys. I'd love to hear from you. I really appreciate you all. Thanks again.